Dear friends, we are pleased to present our Xena Proxy Checker, part of Xena Poster, now available as a standalone product. On the main tab you see Proxy Checker status, brief statistics and what is now running in the program. The status should be green, it means that checking service is available. There are 10 threads to download the sources and an unlimited number of threads to check proxies. This limit you can change either by testing channel or by setting up manually in the network monitor window. Now we get count of threads increased. On this tab sources are listed, list from where program takes proxy. They can be added via the wizard. First of all we choose what we add. In our case it's passed to the source list. Then choose where sources are located, on our local PC or on the website. Here we can see all sources from the specified path. Next option to select type of sources. I leave it don't know to let process checker recognize it. You can choose whether or not to use a source by ticking checkboxes. Also you can configure one or a few sources simultaneously. The more ticks we choose, the more requests proxy checker has to do to check them all. Choose all those sources that you currently need. For example, if you want to check if proxy works with Google, then clear all the checkboxes and set that one, check Google Post. Now we are testing if proxy alive, supports post request and works with Google. Proxy checker is ready to work, let's run it. Sources are loading and checking of proxy started. Go to the source tab and let's see how sources are loaded there. We can sort them by status. Green circle means that source is available and has proxies there. Yellow status have available sources, but no proxies were scraped from them. Red means that source is not available. Sources without status are not loaded yet. Filters are settings which prevent bad proxies be added to the proxy checker base. Let's set up the filter blacklist. Ok, now we don't have government, military and etc proxies in our base and we won't get them as long as we use this filter. Go to the rules tab. There are a few inbuilt rules that consist of a few components. Let's create our own rule. Drag and drop component max delay and set the max delay for proxy 5 seconds. Let's save this as a new rule. Go to the proxy tab. We see that we have already checked proxies. It displays all the details of the proxy. Now let's test our rules. Open rules demo and test our rules. Once we tick the checkbox, we see as it's applied to our list. This list of proxy we can easily save to a file. Go to the last tab, Output. Add saving proxy to the hard drive disk. Select the rule.
and for instance we will save list every 10 minutes. So we will get updated list of proxies in the files that we specify. Add saving proxy to the local host. Select one proxy without rule with removing. We see that each time count of proxy is reduced by one with each browser refresh. Let's take a look at the settings. First of all we have list of servers. You shouldn't change anything here. Next we have a proxy lifetime. How long proxy will be in a live list? Next is a limit of proxies. After how many alive proxies proxy checker is temporary paused to don't waste resources. That's all. Thanks for watching.